Hi and welcome to this Garden Gnome Software screencast. This screencast is looking at Pano 2 VR version 5 and how to add tags to your projects. Now the reason why you would add a tag to your project is four. Um, with Pano 2 VR Pro it helps you uh, to quickly organize your input images in the tour browser and with the standard and pro tags can be used with logic blocks in the skin editor to add some more functionality to your outputs. Right so with that said um, how do we add them? Right, well we can click the user data um, tab under here or we can click the user data button in the toolbar and as soon as we click that you can see that user data opens and you can see we've got one tag already um, entered. Now Pano 2 VR has done this and what it's done is looked at my project's folder name and used that as my first tag. I can add tags manually by selecting the box underneath it, clicking in the box and then just adding a name there and as soon as I hit the space bar or enter we add the tag to the project. Um, if I right button click on a tag I get some options I can rename it so let's rename this to outside there we go and the other thing we can do here is I can remove it from the project now um, with Pano 2 VR Pro I can add the tag to various input images. So if I select an input image and hit the red cross, I'm only removing the tag from that one image. Um, however, if I right button click, I can remove it from the project completely, which would remove that tag from every other image in the tour browser. Okay, I don't want to do that, but what I do want to do is, again, it's another pro feature, is to assign a color. So if I click orange, you'll see that this outside tag is, got, is now turned orange, and not only that, we've got orange in the um, tour browser, and if I hover the mouse, the outside tag now is orange in the tooltip. Okay, cool. If I want to add the tag to a different image, um, if I select the image in the tour browser, I can now use the drop down combi box and select outside from there. And that adds the tag, and we can see that clearly in the tour browser. And the other way we can do that is with the tag showing or visible, I can drag and drop it into another image in the tour browser. So that's it. So that's a way of adding tags. Um, now, obviously, Pano 2 VR can have many hundreds if not thousands of input images so to add tags even quickly or even quicker we've got our stamp tags tool which is this little button here so if I click that you'll see that we have um, the options of adding two tags that we've already got um, selected or in the project or I can add a new tag I'm going to add a new tag and I'm going to call it pop up I can click OK or hit the return key and we've now added the tag to our tag stamp tool. Now when I hover over inside one of the images in the tour browser you can see the picture of the uh, stamper and when I click that it stamps um, that particular image with the tag. Now again to make it easier to follow I'm going to add, a, I'm going to assign a color to it. I'm going to assign a color light blue so you can now see that that's got a light blue dot. I can now carry on stamping all the other images that have a pop-up and again We've now got the, as soon as a tag has been added, I can click it again to remove them if I so wish. There we go. So that's now added all of those blue. Right, the other thing you'll probably notice, we've got a double plus and a double cross. Basically, the double plus adds the active stamp um, to all nodes. If I click that, you'll see that they all turn blue with a blue dot. And the obviously, the double cross is to remove it. So if I click that, the blue dot all removes. Now, I do actually want to stamp the these three with my pop-up tag. There we go, so that's that done. Once you've finished um, adding uh, your tags to actually get out of tag stamp mode, you click this button here and it's exit stamp tag mode. There we go, as soon as I click that, you'll see that the tour browser tools return to normal. Okay, um, we also have auto tags. Auto tags are Pano, Pano 2 VR uh, um, assigns these automatically by looking at the attributes of your input images. Now you can see that all my input images are at rectangular, so they get a, a, a rectangular uh, tag. If I had a few cylinders in there, I would get cylinder tags on those. Um, my outside images have GPS, so it's assigned GPS tag there. And my inside images don't, so it doesn't have them, so there you go. But they all have um, point hotspots. This one doesn't have a title so it's titled so it's given me that no title and yeah so you can see that it's automatically adding um, 
uh, tags. Now these tags can also be right button clicked and assigned a color. So for GPS, I'm going to assign the color violet. So you see now all my outside images with GPS have got the violet dot. All the inside ones don't. Okay, cool. Um, the other thing is as well is depending on the attributes of your input images, um, you could end up with quite a few of these auto tags. If you don't want to see anything, i.e. Um, you, you actually know that they're all extra rectangular and don't want to see that all the time, you can mute a tag, which basically means it's still active, but you can hide it from the interface. So you right button click, mute tag, and it disappears. If you want to see it again, right button click on an existing tag, and you can unmute it, and there it's back again. There you go, so that's just purely tidying up the interface. So there you go, that's how to add tags to Pano 2 VR version 5, and thanks for watching.